Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the WooCommerce video series. In this video, I'll show you how to customize the WooCommerce shop page in Spectra One theme. So this is the dummy website on which I'm using Spectra One theme and I have also installed the WooCommerce plugin. And let me show you the default shop page on this WooCommerce website. This is the layout of the shop page. You will see the product listed here. So as of now, on this dummy website, I have only four products. So it shows only four products. You can customize this layout and you can create your own layout here. Here you will see default sorting option. Right now, all the products have the same price, so it's not going to change the position. So let's see how we can customize this layout in Spectra One theme. Let me show you the plugins that I'm using. I'm using Spectra and Spectra Pro plugin. I have published many videos on Spectra and Spectra Pro plugin. If you want to watch those videos, I'll give you a link in the description box. In the previous video, I have shown you how to customize the header and the footer section in the Spectra One theme. So now let's go to themes and go to editor. If you want to customize the shop page layout, you can also go to edit template directly from the shop page or you can go to this editor section and go to templates and under templates, you will see the option product catalog. So this is nothing but the template for the shop page. Uh, this is the current template you will see it here so at the top we have archive title that is the shop then we have bread comes here you will see it here then we have notice right now there is no notice so that's why it's not showing any notice here then we have how many products it is showing just like this four then we have filter by price right now all the products have same price so it's not showing any filtration here then we have default sorting. So this is the default sorting. And below that we have these products. So on the products we have the image, then title, the price and add to cart button. Now let's see how we can customize it. Let's click on it, the customization option. And in the right hand panel, you will see the option to customize the block. So let's go to the title. I have selected the title and I want to change the color of the title. Right now it is a black one. I'm going to change it to, let's say, this one. So this is how it will look. Then right now we do not have the notice here, so it's not going to show anything here. Then we have showing one out of X. So we are going to change the color of that one also. And for the default sorting, We'll change this color. I just want to show you how does this look. That's why I'm choosing some random colors here. All right, now let's go to the image. And from here, you can customize the image. You can set up the height and width link to the product page. So whenever someone clicks on it, it will go to the product page. Show on sale badge. So if I disable it, it is not going to show it. If I enable it, it will show. You can change the position to the center, to the right, to the left. So I'm going to keep it on left. And if I go to advanced, you can add the custom CSS under advanced. Now below that we have title, you can change the color. And this will be the link color. Right now it is linked to the product page. That's why it shows link color. Then we have size, you can change the size. Capitalize, if you want to make it uppercase, you can make it uppercase. Then we have padding and spacing settings. Below that we have price. For the price, we can change the dimension here. All right, so I do not see any setting to change the color of the price. Next will be add to cart button. This will be outline, the default. All right, so it does not show any option to change the button color. So maybe you need to go to the customization of the buttons and from there you can change the global settings for the button. Now, let's go to list view. And here you will see the list view. This is the group that we are working on. At the top, we have header, then we have footer. And this group is nothing but the shop page. So let's expand it. This is the breadcrumb. Now, if you want to change the color, the background color of the entire group, you can select that one. You can select the entire group 
and from here you can change the background color let's change it to somewhat yellow so this is how it will look if you want to disable it on desktop tablet or mobile you can change it from here typography size can be changed margin block spacing border radius let's expand it and let's go to products here if i go to products this is the products and for the product template this is the product template go to style settings and let's see if we can change the background color for the product template so it will change the background color for the entire template for the entire product template so if i close it this is how it will look let's go to list view again and open the settings So here you will see the row under row you can have the price filter price so if i go to if i select a row and if i go to a row settings i can change the background color for the row that will be let's say let's use this one and for the text we are going to change the color let's select the result and change the color then select catalog sorting and change the color if I close it this is how it will look let's go to list view now here at the bottom we have the pagination this will go to next page if there are more products it will go to the next page let's go to products again and this part will show the number of products on your website All right let's save it and let's see how does this look let's go back refresh it and you will see the changes here this is the new color for this section this is the new title color and you will see the background color is changed you can also add some padding and you can change the color settings now let's see if I close this one and I want to add some other elements so you can click on plus sign here and you will see many different elements here you can search for product and you will see these options here so from here you can select the option and you can add that into the template let's say we have all products here so what I'm going to do I'm going to drag it and drop it just below this section and you will see all the products here and you will see how many columns you want let's make it four columns and four rows it will show the products in four columns it is going to show latest products so now here you can see we have four columns and three rows that will be showing 12 products if i save it and refresh it and you will see that added at the bottom Let's go back click on the plus sign again and search for woocommerce or search for woo and here you will see product search so do we have product search no so let's add the product search here let's scroll up and i want to add this product search here in this section so i'm going to add it let's save it refresh it now you will see the product search is added here let's go back click on the plus sign search for woo and you will see many different options here many different blocks that you can add to your shop page layout you can see mini cart option is also there so let's add that at the bottom let me see all right we have it added here save it and refresh it if i scroll down you will see the mini cart here let's add one product to the cart and you will see it here so now you can change the position of this mini cart to any other section if you want to add the mini cart in the top menu you can add that in the top menu so that it will be visible all the time at the top 
So you will need to play with the settings of the templates. You can add different blocks into the template and you can customize the layout of the shop page in WooCommerce website. So this is how you can customize the shop page in Spectre One theme. That's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comments section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.